What kind of motel gives you medicine? That's so weird. Huh? I have never been in a motel that's like, here's some complimentary Tylenol. What the hell? I haven't been in a hotel since I was a little girl, actually. Right. Well, motels and hotels are different. Very different. Well, we got a motel that's a small one, actually. It's oh, like a wiki tiki kind of style. <laughs> wiki tiki. <Yeah. laughs> hmm, let's go take a shower. La, 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 la. Shower? Ethan? What are you staring at? Ethan? Ethan? Look at that! <laughs> I can make him dance just by turning his head. You know, I'm actually, I'm actually doing the same thing. <laughs> That is cool. Okay. Da, 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 da. Have you ever noticed that Ethan never has to take a shit in this game? It's just, oh, gotta pee. Gotta pee. <laughs> okay, what's over here first? Hmm. I did not tell you to do the phone. I told you to do the fridge. Do it! Thank you. Okay, now you can do the phone. Oh, yeah, sorry. Remote. Do the remote. Watching TV. Watching TV. Watching TV. Watching TV. All I know is about the old Garmin killer. Yes. He was last seen playing in the which I can't see the guy on the television, but I can see what he's talking about. Jeremy Bowles, there is suspicion that this again may be the work of the origami killer. If confirmed, it will bring the number of victims to nine. You know, why can't anyone in this game say origami? Everyone says origami. It's not origami. They're mispronouncing it. It's probably... Well, I guess the way they mispronounce it again, I guess. Uh, let's open the box. Uh, I don't want it could to. Be a, it could be a bomb. Boom! Oh, damn it. He's not dead yet. Oh, sweet! A free cell phone! Cha-ching! And a gun. Maybe I can fuse them together and then make calls and shoot people at the same time. Cool! Brought to you by the Geico Gecko, a dolphin, a, wait, that wasn't a dolphin, a butterfly, and a bear. Wait, what is that? What is number four? Is that a dolphin? Hmm. I think so, but in this or this, I can't really tell. Hmm. Let's see. What What do we want to do? We want... Let's, let's open the bear. I, I don't really want to look at the gun. Hmm. Unfolding the bear. Unfolding the bear. Damn, that was a big bear. Are you prepared to show courage to save your son? Joe's Garage and Parking Lot, 4988 Roosevelt Avenue, Lexington. Joy. Cool. Well, there's a ship actually called one. Hmm, what's this? A little chip. Perhaps it goes in the phone. Perhaps so. is a plane. Loading. Uh-oh. It's Dad. Sean! Dad! Sean, where are you? I'm so cold. Dad! Dad! Aww. Oh, little guy, we'll save you! How far oh, are you we'll prepared you. to go save someone you love? Hmm. Well, I'd personally do anything, but... Five origami figures. Each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters. The letters reveal an address. Hmm. The puzzles are slowly piecing together. Apparently, they're supposed to, they're supposed to be like four or five trials. Oh, and he takes the gun, too. I don't know why he needs the gun. He won't need it. I know, right? Hmm. On the desk or under the bed? I would hide it under the bed for safekeeping. Yeah, so nobody would so nobody would find it. Even though there's really nothing deadly in it, because we took the gun, but People will get suspicious. They might, especially if they know he's the guy on the news they're talking about, so Yeah. That would make sense. Where do we go now? Hmm. You've unlocked a new bonus! <gasps> Normie! Hey, there's my buddy right there. 
Hey, sexy. And yes, I decided you can the have him. Or have somebody. Between 30 and 45. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Times in a very <laughs> You're welcome. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why did he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? Because it's fun. For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done. And yes, I'm pressing the triangle to switch Very the background. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? Everything. Hmm. God, I'm gonna Blake yell at him. Such an it builds up the profile of the killer and helps us understand the person we're looking for. It might have been useful if it was done earlier in this investigation. <sighs> I'm gonna smack that bitch upside the head. One detail attracted my attention. The and then you just the remind me of someone called Smack My Bitch Up. Ranges from three <laughs> to five days. I remember that. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take ten percent. What on earth does that mean? It means it's gonna drown. In rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. Duh. More rains? Yeah. The less time the victim has to live. The gasp. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. Lucky the more bastard. confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. Really? And, and what size is cool. this uh, zone? Oh, you know what? From I'm going to go over there and smack you. About 10 square miles. Oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You going to question them one by one? Yes. If it has to. Aggressive. It may not give us the address of the killer, but at least it's something to go on. Blake, if you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. Yeah, Blake. I'm all ears. Come on, Blake, bring it. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Sweet. Ah, uh, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. If the killer's out there somewhere, we gotta get off our asses and find him. Oh, you know what? Go for him! Blake, I got just about enough of your shit. You've been chasing this guy for what? Two years? And what are you caught, huh? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! <laughs> you think you do a better fucking job than me with your psychology degree and your great glasses? Well, let me tell you something, pal. That don't mean zip when it comes to getting out there. You're just a fucking bureaucrat. Oh. Your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. Yeah, take that. That's enough. <laughs> I love getting him mad. He deserves I it. I agree. You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. If I'm not saying anything, I'm How really enjoying this scene, that? actually. <laughs> the weather forecast That's fine. Right? Less than 72 hours. Ah, crap. I've only got like three days so far. Yeah. Not good. Ah, uh, crap. Not gonna work with him? Oh, this is. Mmm. Come on, Kat. Just be a reason with him and try and do your best. Be your behavior. Just be on your best behavior. Yeah, let's put a gun to the back of his head. And this. Let's just claim him as the no, origami sir. killer and get on with our lives. Here. Yeah, that won't Maybe be a reasonable cat. There's nobody home. But it'd be fun. It'd be a good way yeah. to twist the story around. Well, but that that's not the way it works in this game. I'm not sure that it entirely should. Legal. Call the cops. Well, if you don't like the way it is, you could just make your own game just similar to this. There we go. <laughs> no copyright intended. Don't take me to court, guys. I'm fine. Wow, holy crap, someone must love God. A lot. Looks like oh, Nathaniel yeah. Williams is a pretty religious guy. This guy is so obsessed He's with Jesus Christ, and that's why he doesn't go out. Yeah, we it, it, looks it, 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 it looks it, it looks it. disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. I actually do, I do have a family member who is my uncle. He's so obsessed with uh, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
enough to put like 7,200 crosses on your wall? And nothing like that at his house, but he doesn't, he's talking nonstop about Christ this, Jesus built this, anything that he doesn't like, what you do or what you bear that considers his sin or something. Yeah, well, we're not, we're not being racist here, guys, we're just saying. But still, wow, this... Which I'm not... Yeah. In which I'm not trying to be here. That's yeah. all. I'm just explaining my side family story. What's been going on. The yep. walls are covered with writing. Hmm. Quotations from the I wonder what these... I wonder what these words... This scribble saying... I, I really don't understand what it's saying on the wall. I like to know what it's saying. It is in a different language. And I don't know it, what language it is. It's not English, that's for sure. Could be Hebrew... Or Jerusalem, or I don't know. Arabic? I don't know. Could be. I don't know. I, I only know what German looks like in English and Spanish. That's it. And holy crap, the medicines. You must be addicted to drugs. A wee bit, which would explain the um, obsession of crosses all over the place. Oh my god, he scared the shit out of me! <laughs> god damn you, Blake! Wow, okay. You, okay. Sh you should get a gun and just shoot him. Don't scare me like that, you son of a bitch, pal! Exactly! <gasps> wow. And you know what? The first time I played it, the same exact thing happened. I should have learned better, but. Hey, let's, let's use his toilet! Using your facilities! Crap. Okay, right. fine. Fine. Normie's too good to take a piss. I don't think he I don't think he wants to take a piss in front of you, Cat. Why not? <laughs> He's being polite. He's being a gentleman, I guess. I, I gotta I gotta watch a forty year old man take a piss instead. Oh boy. <laughs> Joy. Wait, what am I? Hmm. What's that? More medicine. Jeez, Louise. Why he needs that much medicine? That looks like blood everywhere. It does things. look like blood. Aside from the little green bottle of Dawn dish detergent in the corner. But everything is blood. That is, what are you doing? Blake? He looks like he's looking at something. The guy's taking a break from reality. Hold up here in this crazy apartment. Yeah, he is. All the signs of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution complex. Hmm. And hmm. You don't have to be a profiler to see he's not a killer. We're wasting our time here. Exactly. It's stifling in here. Yes, it is. Those windows haven't been opened in years. Hmm. Hintity hint. Maybe someone gone crazy. What's this? It's Jesus. It's a nice picture. Oh, although it's a nice picture. There's something else here, but I'm sure there is. I thought I was able to go, like, on the- Oh, are you trying to look it down? Yeah. I thought I could look down on the shelf, but it's not letting me. Uh-oh. I think- Oh. Never mind! <laughs> Uh-oh. I swear, I need to get my headset fit, or I'm gonna throw this damn thing out in the trash. That good, good huh? Good timing, Nathaniel. No, every time I try to say something, it echoes loudly. And uh, what what's going on in the background? I'm Agent Norman uh, One side I can hear it, the other one's question. switching on both sides, so I gotta move my, my head to the side or work. Anything. It's uh, been doing that. I don't know what, how relax. long. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. I am. Talk. You did dong gun and done it. Why all the crucifixes? You afraid of something? Everything. The hour is nigh. And the wrath of God shall strike men down. I'm preparing for the end of the world. It reminds me of Watchmen. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday? At actually, I was watching on History Channel today, and they were talking about the I comic book Hitman, actually. All day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Was there anybody with you? No. <laughs> do you no, think anybody was with this guy? I mean, really, look at him. Look at him. Where do you work, Nathaniel? Do you have a job? No. My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Told ya. Yeah, but that's 